Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you're all well. It's just over a week now. I've been really busy clearing out my um, craft room and organising my storage where I'm putting all my stuff. And um, it's it can be a long haul, especially when you've got a lot of things uh, and just trying to categorise them and get them into you know some kind of order and um, also to remember where your stuff are. While I was organising my craft room I did manage to stop and take a break and um, do a little bit of crafting because I can't help it. I have to um, pick up paper and do something. So I decided to um, make some, well, make one envelope um, pocket. But what I did, I found this envelope, this envelope in my stash, and um, I decided to open it and make a template. Um, I do have a few envelope templates, but this one was just so cute. I thought okay let me try that so that's what I did I opened it and then I made a template of it it's got a little um, circle in it as you can see uh, got a circle in it and out of that template I made this this envelope see that I think that is so cute so that's what I did I made this I think it's so cute and I stuffed it with a few things so if I take them out and show you what I stuffed it with I'd like to put some more stuff in it but um I've just decided to put these little bits and pieces in just to sort of like get a feel of what can be put in there. And what I used was uh, this paper pad, uh, Floral Mance. It's a 4x8, 200 GSM. It's got some really beautiful, beautiful papers in there beautiful papers look at that I think this was a last year design I love that with a teapot I might try and see if I can do some fussy cutting with that but beautiful I really really think this paper pad is really nice and that's from our local Poundland Yes, yeah, so what I did, I actually used, let's see what one I used for that. I used this one to make the envelope. And then um, I had some handmade bows that I made. I stuck one on there. And then um, I had some of these die cut, die cut love, with the word love on it and the big heart. Um, so I used that as well. I've got some in gold as well. So that's that. That's the love there. And I used that. And I die cut that arrow as well, which is glitter. It's really pretty. And a little flower there and um, I punched the apple the apple hole punch let's have a look yep this little apple hole punch I used I cut this little glitter star and stuck it in there as well um, I made a little tassel 
which I think is so cute. Look at it. Oh. And I punched a hole in the top and put a couple of little paper flowers there. And then I stuck a Dal Monte on there. And there's a tag underneath, a baby tag that I die cut as well. And um, I punched the love heart with the love heart punch. And it's got um, the embroidery around it. So that's what I used to punch this lovely heart here. And then I die cut this hello. I really find with this um, this uh, die cut, the hello die cut, it's really difficult to get out of the actual die. Let's have a look. My dog is lying next to me. Yeah, so this is the hello die cut and I just find it really really difficult to get the paper out of it once I've die cutted it but anyway I managed to poke it out because when you're pulling it out it's a bit finicky because it comes out really skinny but I managed to get it out it's a bit wonky but I think it, it gives it a texture a nice texture anyway so that's that and then I've got a, a butterfly here, just under the hello. I used, um, let's have a look, uh, this paper to die cut this doily. So pretty, so intricate around the edges there. And then, um, I, hold, uh, I punched uh, two bows, one in pink, and glued that on there, and then I used foam pads, that's it, the sticky foam pads, and uh, punched a silver one to go on top, and that's on top of foam pad. So that's that, so that's what I made. I think it's so cute. Oh, look at the little tassel. That's my first little envelope, stuffed envelope that I've made. So that's what I was doing while I was clearing up my craft room um, earlier on, late last week, early this week. And um, I just uh, put a tag in there, which I made, and a banner, which I cut out. And then um, I just clipped some cutouts, which says love. That's lovely. And this one says, uh, you make me happy. And these are some envelope cutouts, which are really pretty. And that's just a shape as well that I cut out. And this one is another cutout, and it says, love is in the air. And a photo frame board. So that's what I use to stuff the envelope with. So if I come across anyone that wants to swap something, yeah. And uh, these are to clip back. Really pretty. Oh, I'm so pleased with myself. And a little bow as well that I made. Yep. Isn't that lovely? Next thing is <clears throat> what I've been up to as well. I made some bows. Made some lovely bows, as you can see. They're just adorable. And I packaged them up. 
I will be putting some of these on my Etsy shop. I do have a little Etsy shop um, that sells um, fragrance oils for oil burners and aromatherapy oils. So I'll be adding these to the shop. I'll leave the link below for, with the details. I had to sit down and make something, you know, even though I was cleaning and organising. Um, I had to sit down and make something, yeah. So then I also made these as well. And they're just adorable. They are wonderful. I think they're so lovely. That's what I was busy doing while I was clearing out my craft room. I will, will, will leave all the details below for those. It's just beautiful. Oh, goodness me. I just think they're so beautiful. They're just beautiful. Some die cuts from uh, AliExpress. But that will be another video, just waiting for some more to come in the post. And that will be another video for that. Um, these are some loose ones that I did. This is out of the paper pad as well. This one's a slightly bigger one because I was experimenting with the sizes. And, um, yep, I made that and that one as well so they're both out of this uh, floral romance paper pad I think it's beautiful it really is I'm not quite sure if you can see that yeah it looks okay from here I also um, was experimenting with uh, I did uh, use some glitter paper pad paper to um, punch out this love heart and what I did was I used some glossy accent the glossy accent and I uh, put it on top it looks really pretty but um, some of it is more highlighted than some like this part is really nice and glossy and high the gloss this one's just sort of settled on it. I'm not quite sure if it wasn't leveled where I left it drying, but um, it is really pretty all the same. So what I think I'm going to do is um, reinforce this. I'm gonna reinforce the back for it to be a bit more sturdy. And um, because I'm gonna make it into a key ring. So I think I can manage to do that now so if I get all the stuff what I'm going to use and um, I'll see you back in a minute okay so I think I've got everything ready got some Mod Podge here Mod please forgive me Mod Podge here and um, the Love Heart as I said I'm making it into a key ring and um, I think I've got a love heart somewhere here that I can use. Of This is pr pretty to use. This would be pretty on the back. Hmm, it's slightly bigger. It's uh, another shape. Let's have a look, see if I've got any more here. Um, Ah, this one's pretty. Got this one here. Right, I found this one. This has got sort of like a shimmer on it. I don't know if you could see that. It's not actually plain white cardstock. It's got a shimmer on it. Where did I get this one from? What did I? I don't think it was this one. It wasn't this pad that I got from. I'll have to have a look. Okay. I think I should 
reinforce that with a back in. I'm thinking, could I get away with two? This one's slightly bigger because I used, um, I think I die cut those. Yeah. I used the die cut. I used this one to die cut. It's a big heart for this. And isn't it pretty? Oh, it's just so pretty. The pink flowers are so lovely. Yeah, so I used um that was a die cut. But let me see how we get on with this. So if I mod mod podge this. I really fancy something new for my key ring. I lost my keys, uh, was it this year or the ending of last year? I lost my whole bunch of keys and um, everything that was on it had all sorts of different sort of good stuff that I really like looking at that made me happy. Let's have a look at that. And I've got my um, copper dial, so I'll be using this to hole punch the heart, and also I'm going to put an eyelet in there as well. Say hi. Say hello. He's so lovely. I love him so much. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Right. So. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. 
just got to leave that to dry I might put some more Mod Podge on it or I can put some bling on it shall I bling it out? I should, shouldn't I? bling it out but that's it, yeah so I can do a few more things to that if I do decide to do a few more things to it I will certainly, certainly show you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also, please subscribe. I'm really looking for some new friends. Uh, I spend a lot of time at home. I can get into that another time um, on another video when I'm ready to talk about that. But, um, yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and the bell next to the subscribe red button. If you click on that, then you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a video. So, don't miss out. Um, we're all here doing the same thing and um, enjoying ourselves. It's lovely to craft. I love crafting. So on that note, take care. Lovely talking to you today and uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.